Agathya Ilyanikna ventured into the forest early in the morning. In the quaint village where the elderly woman resided. The stove was fueled by wood. And brushwood had been gathered throughout the summer. As the grandmother entered the thicket. She initially explored the nearby area. However. Her neighbors had already cleared everything there. With a sigh. She pressed on. Despite her advanced age. Agathya Ilyanikna was remarkably energetic. Swiftly. She accumulated a stack of branches and leisurely made her way back to the village. Suddenly. An unfamiliar sound caught her attention. Intrigued. She followed its source. The closer she approached. The more distinct became the squeaking of puppies. Yet. The puppies themselves were nowhere to be found in the depths of the forest. Had someone's dog given birth? And were the offspring abandoned in this manner? The old woman turned around a tree and discovered a small wolf cub ensnared in a trap. The creature whimpered with all its might. Its delicate paw was caught in an iron vice. Judging by the dried purple fur around the wound, the animal had been desperately attempting to free itself. Unable to ignore the plight. Agathya Ilyanikna took notice. She located a sturdier stick. Carefully inserted it between the trap's teeth. And exerted all her strength. The metal reluctantly yielded. Spreading to the sides. However, the wolf cub hesitated to withdraw its paw. Staring at the grandmother with fear. Frozen in place. Compelled to act. She had to personally extract the beast's paw. When the trap closed with a resounding click. The wolf cub abruptly leaped to its paws. The injured leg twisted immediately. Causing the animal to nearly collapse to the ground. The wolf cub gazed at the old woman. And now. There was no fear in its eyes. Agathya Ilyanikna smiled and made her way home. A peculiar puffing sound caught her attention. And when she turned around. She was surprised to find the wolf cub trailing behind her. Engrossed in her tasks. She had momentarily forgotten about the young creature. Although now free and able to roam anywhere. The wolf cub limped right behind the woman. Go home. She urged the beast. But he paid no attention to the request. Undeterred. She clapped her hands and stamped her foot. Yet the cub firmly held his ground. The old woman assumed that the wolf cub would eventually lag behind once fatigue set in. She had more important matters to attend to than shooing away wild animals. The cub, however, did not comprehend why he was following her. Convinced that he was doing everything right. Yet, with each step, the animal's strength waned. Even though the granny walked at a slow pace. It became unattainable for the wounded and exhausted creature. Finally, the wolf cub's strength completely abandoned him. After taking a few steps. He fell heavily to the ground and began to breathe rapidly. When he looked up at the old woman. She was already far away. An acute sense of loneliness enveloped the animal. The wolf cub felt scared because now it seemed that no one needed him. Out of desperation. He let out a soft whine. The old woman remained resolute in her plan. She took a few more steps. But then the sound of crying reached her ears. Turning around. She witnessed a heartbreaking scene. The creature lay on the ground. Its wounded paw uncomfortably bent. A sea of resentment. Loneliness. And fear surged in its gaze. Agafia Ilyanikna let out a loud sigh. She approached the young one. Lifted it gently into her arms. And carried it home. Contrary to expectations. The animal showed no fear, it even relaxed. And soon. The little one dozed off. The old woman returned home after lunch and promptly brought a cup of water for the exhausted creature. As the bowl emptied, 
The animal lay down wearily. Agathia Ilionikna then tended to the creature's wound, meticulously cleansing away the dried crimson streaks. Several days in the trap had left their mark on the animal. With no veterinarians or specialized medicines in the village. And scarce pills even for the villagers. The grandmother began gathering dried leaves. She filled a pot with water and lit a fire in the stove. While the broth simmered. Agathia Ilionikna set the table. Yesterday's porridge and a piece of radish weren't ideal for feeding a wild animal. But it was all she had. So. She honestly shared her meager meal with the creature. The wolf cub sniffed at the food for a while. Looking incredulous. He had never tasted anything like it before. The curious muzzle turned towards the hostess of the house. She ate her portion without grimacing or spitting. Encouraged. The animal decided to give it a try. With a tongue. He licked the porridge. Amusingly tilting his head to the side. And then licked it on the other side. The taste was peculiar. But the animal seemed to enjoy it. Eagerly pouncing on the treat. Agathia Ilionikna simply grinned. She decided to keep the young one with her. Every day. She washed its paw. Fed it. And provided a decoction. And gradually. The creature became more cheerful. A month later. The wolf cub was feeling well, even starting to run quickly. Though with a slight limp from the previously wounded paw. Agathia Ilionikna concluded that it was time to release the animal. Returning to the place where she had found the cub. He sniffed carefully and suddenly caught the enchanting and unique smell of his mother. Without looking back. The wolf cub rushed after the familiar aroma. Good luck. Agathia Ilionikna whispered after him. Two years passed. And the woman had almost forgotten the incident with the wolf cub. She had aged and weakened. But the need for gathering brushwood persisted, autumn arrived too quickly. With the onset of frosty nights and a thin layer of snow under the rare rays of the cold sun. The old woman realized she hadn't collected enough brushwood for the upcoming winter. One day. She ventured into the forest. Pulling a small sled behind her for conveniently stacking branches. Deep into the woods. Agathia Ilionikna suddenly felt unwell. The sled rope slipped from her weakened fingers. And as she reached out to the nearest tree for support. Everything went dark before her eyes and her hand missed the trunk. Agathia Ilionikna tumbled to the ground, her head colliding with a protruding root, and she lost consciousness. It wasn't until the following morning that the old woman regained awareness. On one side, she felt the warmth of something large, akin to a stove. On the other side, small fluffy forms crawled along her arms and legs. The kids nuzzled her clothes, whining and licking her fingers. As Agathia Ilionikna became more aware, she noticed a puppy. Still not fully oriented. She was certain there should be no animals nearby. Upon standing up, the creatures scattered. Leaving the old woman astonished by the fluffy figures before her a she-wolf with two wolf cubs. They had kept her warm preventing her from freezing in the snow. Observing the change in the sun's position, Agathia Ilionikna realized she must have been unconscious for a considerable time. Despite the potential threat of wild animals, she wasn't frightened, convinced that nothing would harm her. After all, they hadn't attacked her yet. Carefully standing up, Agathia Ilionikna found her vision clearing, and the darkness lifted. The she-wolf and her puppies ran further into the distance. Surprisingly. The animal limped slightly on one leg while running. Memories from two years ago flooded Agafia Ilionikna's mind when she had nursed a small. Exhausted wolf cub. The creature had grown into a beautiful she-wolf. Retrieving her sled. The old woman made her way home. 
throughout the journey. She couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. Exiting the forest. She looked back, three shadows flitted among the trees. Disappearing into the thicket. Gratitude. The old woman softly expressed to the wolves. It was uncertain whether she would have endured in the cold forest without the animal's assistance. The wolves averted a potential tragedy. Showcasing their ability to be grateful. They always reciprocate kindness. Dear viewers. If you enjoyed this video. Kindly like and subscribe to our channel. Farewell. Let's continue. In the herd. There is a close and strong bond between horses and horses. Due to the influence of the environment and other factors. They like to live in groups and are attached to each other. They never like to act alone. So when a strong wild horse phoenix was separated from his family. He still reserved a special place for them in his heart. And when it was rescued and the woman helped it find its family. The reunion scene made everyone cry. What happened? Wild horses are wild and strong animals. Their running posture shows a free and valiant demeanor. Which is one of the reasons why people like to watch horses run so much. In people's minds. Wild horses represent freedom. So when people see wild horses in captivity and in cages. They feel very sad. Wild horses belong to nature and should not be restrained and restricted. They need space. Freedom and rights without worrying about unnecessary interactions with humans. Phoenix and its herd of wild horses can better reflect this attitude of freedom. But bad luck still befalls them. In the eyes of some selfish businessmen. Phoenix and its companions are the strongest and most handsome horses on the American prairie. They want to have such a horse for their own entertainment or to show off. So they do not hesitate to spend costs a lot to buy such wild horses. Expecting handsome wild horses to appear in their garden. Under the temptation of money. The wild horses were captured by a group of cold-blooded humans. Locked up in filthy stables with only tight gates and unpalatable food. Phoenix and his companions are waiting to be auctioned off and leave the endless grasslands forever. But Phoenix is not reconciled. It can't just watch the family members being taken away. It can't imagine the pain. It must return to its original home and run on the grass with family and friends as before. Phoenix has always been the strongest and smartest horse in the family. And he firmly believes that his destiny will not be rewritten by humans. The strong phoenix sprang into action. Leaping over the fence that surrounded them. Not only to gain freedom. But also to prove to his family that escape was possible. Unfortunately. The fence was too high for other horses to cross. Phoenix was desperate. He looked at his family longingly through the fence. As if begging them to find a way to escape. But it didn't work. Ultimately. Phoenix had no choice but to turn away from his beloved family. We can think of the great pain and despair that poor Phoenix suffered when he left his family. But then he did a very unusual move. Phoenix approached his herd again. As if he really couldn't leave his family. After it made this unwise act. The bad guys found the escaped Phoenix and captured it again. This time. The villains have locked Phoenix behind a high fence making it impossible for him to jump over it. Phoenix was disheartened and completely gave up the idea of running away. In the next few days, he refused to eat. As if this would make his heart feel better. And maybe the merchants would not take him away. After all, there was no man wants a dying horse. Unexpectedly, things suddenly ushered in a turning point. An animal sanctuary heard about the auction of wild horses. The animal protectors followed the clues to find the place where the horses were kept. They saw a very thin phoenix with bright eyes. The animal protectors thought that phoenix was a very smart, valuable horse. They decided to adopt him. So they rescued phoenix from his cramped quarters and sent him to a comfortable, 
ideal wildlife sanctuary where he could live in relative freedom. Animal defenders failed to rescue Phoenix's family and companions. Which was a great difficulty for them. Because they did not have enough space and resources at the time. But animal defenders are still working hard. Which also gives Phoenix hope. After being imprisoned for so long. When Phoenix came to his new home. He was extremely excited and felt free again. In order to make it a better life. Animal Defenders gave Phoenix everything it needs, hoping that it will fall in love with the life of Half Wild Horse. We opened the trailer door and it ran out right away and I just remember Phoenix looking around, looking carefully at the trees and grass and smelling the surrounding area. It was a really exciting moment for me and we brought it gave it back its freedom, said Claire, a volunteer at the shelter. However, Although Phoenix has a new home and new freedom, something seems to bother him. And he often runs far away, and then quietly stares ahead. Perhaps introduce other horses to Phoenix. The volunteers thought, and he might befriend them. But while Phoenix accepted the horses, it remained cold and did not bond with them the way anyone had hoped. It's clear that Phoenix misses its family and it longs to be reunited with them. It even started showing signs of depression, which worried the volunteers very much. Claire said, I always felt like he was a bit lost because when he jumped the fence and could have escaped, he came back to find his family, which means Phoenix didn't want to keep them there, but he lost them in the end. In order to help Phoenix, Claire and several other volunteers returned to the place where it was held. Although they could not save the entire herd and bring it back to the sanctuary, they planned to bring a few horses back to reunite with Phoenix, hoping to make sad Phoenix happy again. Unfortunately, the bad guys have already sold all of the Mustangs. The bond between Phoenix and his family was severed. The volunteers left frustrated. There was nothing they could do about it. And Phoenix seemed destined to spend the rest of his life in grief and depression. But seven years later, something amazing happened. Volunteers received an email from a person who said he lived a few miles away from the shelter. There is a wild horse that has been roaming his land and he wonders if it belongs in the sanctuary. Through the photos. The volunteers were surprised to find that the horse was very similar to Phoenix, and there was no doubt that the two horses came from the same family. So they hurried to the man's house and brought the wandering wild horse back to the shelter. The volunteers didn't know how Phoenix would react and they saw their family members. And they were even afraid that Phoenix would not recognize them because of the long separation. But when everyone saw the picture of the two horses meeting, their behavior brought tears to their eyes. Volunteers brought the Mustang to Phoenix. And Phoenix stared at it closely. It recognized that it was his family. But it couldn't believe it. The next second. Phoenix quickly ran to the Mustang. Both horses bent their necks towards each other. Rubbing against each other while smelling the familiar scent on each other. They are close together enjoying the beauty of reunion. Claire and other volunteers shed tears of emotion as they quietly watched the two horses play and interact. Phoenix is really happy. And all this is due to the family affection he never gave up. Although he has been separated from his family for seven years, the affection in his heart will never be forgotten by the passage of time. 